sales challenge, overcoming objections. Ideally, customers wouldn't raise any objections. Unfortunately, that rarely happens in the real world. Customers do raise objections. You know, the old sales cliche is that objections are a good thing, right? They show the customers interested. Sometimes that is true, but in a lot of cases, objections are a bad thing. Something's gone wrong in the sales process. You know, examples of this can include the salesperson didn't ask enough questions or the right type of questions to really uncover the customer's needs. Maybe the salesperson did a bad job during the presentation phase. They did a feature dump. They didn't focus on benefits. Even if a salesperson does everything right, they may still get objections. So in thinking about overcoming objections, the first step is to understand the root cause of the objection. Once we know why the customer is raising an objection, we can then focus on how to overcome it and what to say. So here are three common root causes of a lot of sales objections. One, the customer doesn't think there's enough value in your solution. When a customer is considering making a purchase decision, they explicitly or implicitly do a cost-benefit analysis. One mistake salespeople make is focusing only on the dollars and ignoring the other costs associated in making a purchase. Implementation, political cost, opportunity cost. Unfortunately, this value calculation isn't scientific and it's open to human error judgments and feelings. Okay, second common root cause of objections is a fear or reluctance to make a change. The customer may acknowledge the value of your solution, but they still won't make a purchase. This can be extremely frustrating for the salesperson. You know, why is a customer objecting? They're acknowledging the value. Well, maybe the person you're talking to isn't the right person. They're not the final decision maker. Maybe the customer has a need, but it's not a compelling need. Maybe there's a risk in making a decision. It may be in a slow economy, it's better for that decision maker just to keep a low profile. Maybe the status quo is just fine. Finally, unfilled need. Maybe your solution just doesn't address one or more of the customer's key priorities. So remember, the first step in overcoming an objection is to understand why the customer is raising it in the first place.